So what I'm gonna be going to is, uh, if you've noticed, I have n has not been that long since the last video for me, and I don't really see a point to wasting my time when I can just get this done and over with. So, you know, what I'm going to be going into is COGS. That's usually not something that you'll get during the beginning stages, but I think it's an asset and that needs to be used more in the beginning. So, a COG it is like a gear in a machine. That's what's going to help make your bot run. And so, these COGS that we're going to be using can be loaded, unloaded, and reloaded. And so what that means is that we won't have to keep restarting our bot every time we make a change. And also, it's going to help clean up our code. Because right now, we both have, we have two you know, things that the bot can do. It can say when it's ready, and it can do a command. This is an event handler, and this is a command handler. Well, not command handler. This is a command. And so, imagine we have 50 commands and 50 events. It wouldn't look very pretty. It'd look quite ugly. And so we need to format that so that it doesn't um, kill our OCD. <laughs> so how we do that is we need a COGS folder. It can be, it doesn't need to be named COGS. This is just what's uh, standard. I'm going to name it default, so from discord.txt import commands it's the default this is going to uh, if you've used any other programming languages this would be extending the class so init self bot self dot bot and then we're going to add a typing of commands.bot. Equals bot. Then uh, for every extension that we have, uh, we're going to need a setup function. So bot is going to need to be passed into the setup function. Bot.add underscore cog default, because that's our the name of the cog over here and then we need to pass in bot so that we can actually use the bot and then I messed this up the first time but we need it we need to know that it, our uh, cogs are working so commands a command sync def ping and then since this is in a class we need to do self first, and then we can do ctx commands.context. Point ctx.send embed. Uh, I will be doing an embed this time because, yes, Discord embed title equals ping description. And then we're going to make this an F string. Um, my ping is, and then I want to put tildes around it this time. MS. So round self dot bot dot latency. And then two times by 100. Then we need to go to main because we still haven't imported the cog yet. Oh wait, we need that ready event still. So cog files equals these brackets. This will stand for an array. So uh, file name for file name in os.listdir so we're calling it from the os module listdir this will return a list of all the files in that directory and so we want to uh, make it so that it's acceptable uh, when we're loading the cogs so cogs dot 
and then it will be the file name. And so when once we run this the first time, or at any point of time, uh, it's going to need to create anti PYC files, which you don't need to worry about those. It's supposed to do that. But those don't end with .py, and it will cause an error. <laughs> so we need to do if file name that ends with .py. This will verify that our files actually do end with .py, and we're also going to need to remove the extension at the end of the file name as well, because that will throw us an error. So for cog file and cog files, we're going to put this in a try, make accept. Usually in other languages, you'll see try catch. This is the exact same thing. <laughs> Cog file accept exception as error. I'm going to print the error. So if there's like an issue with one of our cogs, it's not going to stop the bot from running. And so hopefully, if I make a developer cog, I think, uh, we'll just be able to fix that and then reload the cog. All right. So now we should just be able to run. In, uh, our pi Nathan uh, folder oh wait it's dot ping <laughs> all right so as we can see it worked uh, you're probably wondering how do I add color to this color just discord dot color they also have color spelled with a U. I am American, so I'm going to be using the uh, non-U version. <laughs> From underscore RGB. I'm going to ask for Opera. You don't need to use Opera. <laughs> so color picker. Cool, has one for me. I like blue. So I'm going to go with that. So it's going to take in your three colors, red, green, blue, as an RGB. So then we can just restart it. Oh, wait, it's a dot. <laughs> All right. How am I doing on time? I'm doing amazing. Again. Ah, uh, do I have, you know what, I do have time. I can make time. All right, so we have our, our uh, ready event thing here. And so we can also move that to a cog. So at commands, dot cog dot listener then on ready whoops I hit my caps lock <laughs> then we still need to pass in the self value user has logged in and just can restart it as we can see, it worked. We can still use our command. So perfect. Uh, I'm going to end it here. And then I'm probably just going to do another recording because I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs>